types. You've already learned how important types are in Swift and how useful they can be in helping prevent errors in your code. Of course, array is a type, but an array type in Swift also includes the type of values in the array. Exercise. Option click the two arrays below and look at their types. So I'm going to hold down the option key on my keyboard and click on grades. Uh, you can't see it on the screen, but it says let grades and then it is a string type. And this declaration is let star ratings is an int. So these are strings and these are integers that are contained within the array. The left and right square brackets tell you that it's an array type. Between the brackets is the name of the type of element that the array holds. You can translate the type signature, some type, into an English sentence by saying, this array is a collection of some type instances. If you option clicked a name and saw instrument, for example, you could say, this array is a collection of instrument instances. Exercise. What is the type of grades? What is the type of star ratings? So if we look, we option click on grades, it is a string. Option click on star ratings, it is an int type. Um, also notice that they are in square brackets, so they are arrays. Since arrays always know what kind of element they're holding, you can pull out a single element from that collection and rely on type inference to establish that some grade is a string and some rating is an int. Exercise. Try setting another grade to a number. What happens? So we have another grade and grades at the index of one. Let's try, since this is a variable, we can change it. Let's change it to two. We get an error, cannot assign value of type int to type string. So we are trying to change the type here and it's not letting us because it is already a string which is implied. So I'm going to delete that so I don't have the error. 